Hey guys, I'm going to show you something pretty cool about scientific notation. Let's say um, 3.4 times 10 to the fifth. <clears throat> Let's say for some reason, I want to make this 10 to the sixth. If I make this number 10 smaller, I can make this number bigger. What does that mean? 3.4 times 10 to the fifth equals, I'm moving this over, 0.34 times 10 to the sixth. Do you see how I did that? All I did was move the decimal over once to the left, and this number went up. Now watch this. 3.4 times 10 to the fifth. Let's say I want to make this number smaller. All I do is move this number over. It can equal 34 times 10 to the fourth. It works just like that. So there, there's some really, really complicated math rules about how that works. And I could teach you those rules, but I don't think you really care. And it's not the most important thing ever. You'll learn, you'll, fi you'll figure out later on in math, in, in future years, it'll make more and more sense to you. For now, you just need to know the basic rules. I don't know why I keep doing three, threes, but let's say eight. If I make this number smaller, then this number gets bigger. And if I move the decimal over this way, this number gets smaller. So 0.38 times 10 to the ninth. These are equal to each other. I could do it again. I could move it this way. 0 0.038 times 10 to the 10th. I could do it again. 0 0.0038 eighths times 10, 11. That, that's all you have to do. Let me show you again. So 4.8 times 10 to the fourth. I want to make this four right here. I want to make it a five. So I have to make, I have to move this decimal over and make it smaller. So 0.48 times 10 to the fifth. All I did was move this decimal over here. 7.7 .7 times 10 cubed. I wanna make this three a four. So all I do is move this decimal back and I change, move this up. 0.77 times 10 to the fourth. It's all you have to do. It's that simple. That's, we're making it bigger the whole time. Let's do a couple more where we make it smaller. 3.9 times 10 to the fifth. I want to make this number a four. So as this goes up, this goes down. So I make, move this over here, make that 39 times 10 to the fourth. 6.8 times 10 to the ninth. As this number gets bigger, this number gets smaller.
So that, I move the decimal, move the decimal over one. I've got 68 times 10 to the eighth. Now, Mrs. Gibbons, why in the world did you teach me any of that? Because I'm about to teach you something wacky. 4.8 times 10 to the fifth plus 6.2 times 10 to the fifth. I need to add this plus this. Now we're lucky here, the exponent is the same. If the exponent's the same, all you have to do is add these two numbers. 4.8 plus 6.2 11. So this is 11 times 10 to the fifth. Let's do another one. I don't know. 9.7 times 10 cubed plus 2.2 times 10 cubed. They're the same, exponents the same. So all I have to do is add these. 9.7 plus 2.2, 9, bring down my decimal, 11. 11.9 11 times 10 cubed. Simple, right? Simple. Wait for the next step. We're gonna do different exponents. 6.1 times 10 to the fourth plus 3.2 times 10 to the fifth. Oh, Mrs. Gibbons, how do we do this? Well, if you remember, when we're adding exponents, the bases can be different, but the exponent has to be the same. The exponent has to be the same. It has to be three to the fifth plus eight to the fifth. That equals 11 to the fifth, right? Okay, let me just erase that. So we have to do something to make these two exponents the same. Well, let's do the lesson that I just taught you. Let's make this number smaller and this number bigger. We move this decimal over here. So we've got 0.61 times 10 to the fifth plus 3.2 times 10 to the fifth. Look at that. Now we can do 3.2 plus 0.61183. This equals 3.81 times 10 to the fifth. That wasn't really so hard, right? Let's do another one. 2.5 times 10 to the sixth plus 3.2 times 10 to the seventh. What do we do? What do we do? You know what? Let's make this one smaller. So as this one goes up, this one goes down. So 2.5 times 10 to the sixth. I move the decimal over once. I've got 32 times 10 to the sixth. Now look, my exponents are the same. All I have to do is 
32 plus 2.5 is 5, 4, 3. I've got 34.5 times 10 to the 6. Let's do one more. 3.8 times 10 to the third plus 2.6 times 10 to the fourth. Now it's your choice if you want to make this one bigger or this one smaller. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go with making this one bigger. So as this number goes down, this number goes up. To make a number smaller, you move the decimal to the left. So we've got 0.38 times 10 to the fourth plus 2.6 times 10 to the fourth. All we do is add these two numbers, 2.6, plus 0 0.38, 8, 9, 2, 2.98 times 10 to the fourth. All right, so I'm going to do one in subtraction. I'm just going to do one in subtraction to show you it works the exact same way. Um, 9, let's just say 9 times 10 to the seventh minus seven times um, 10 to the sixth. Let's make this one bigger. So as this number goes down, this number goes up. Decimals here. So it has to come over and be here. So nine times 10 to the seventh minus 0.7 times 10 to the seventh. Now we can do the same thing, nine minus 0.7. Nine minus 9.0 minus 0.7. is 8.3, 8.3 times 10 to the seventh. This is absolutely the most difficult thing that we've done so far in class. I want you to be honest with me. If you don't understand it, just tell me. If you personally are just too embarrassed to admit it in front of the class that you don't understand, reach out to me on Teams. You and I can have a personal appointment. But it's easy. Just remember, as this number goes up, this number goes down. As this number goes down, this number goes up. And when you're adding and subtracting, these have to be the same. All righty.